Hi everyone, it's um, Sarah here from Peaceful Pensive. Um, I just wanted to film a little video um, about my Julio collection. Um, so I bought my first ever Julio in January 2018. Um, um, I've never looked back. I've been in Julio cameras for like two and a half years now. They are they're definitely an investment, they're a bit more expensive than some other brands, but you can absolutely tell why. Like the quality is just they're superior to anything else I've ever tried. Um, I absolutely love them. So I was just going to kind of talk through the ones that I've got. So I've been through quite a different, a lot of different models, colours, etc. And I tend to kind of, um, if I want to get a new one, I tend to sell an old one. But I've got a few that I've kept along the way um, for various reasons. So I'll just kind of go through those with you and do a bit of like comparison with the leather and the sizes. I'm not going to talk too in depth about um, setups and things because I'm going to do a separate um, set up video for my August setup, um, so you'll be able to find out a bit more about it there. So I'll have to start with where it all began, which is my um, first ever Gilio, as I said, bought in January 2018. Um, this is a medium Campania, so that's the personal size, and it's in the rust colour, and you can see that with Gilios, the more you use them, the more beautiful they get. So they develop this patina, which is like this shine that you can see. And that is literally just from using it and the oils in your hands and everything. Um, so the leather's incredible. So um, I actually de-ringed this to put a notebook in, um, but normally they do come with kind of rings here. Um, you can see kind of the pocket configuration. So yeah, I just slipped a V6 notebook in here. Um, but this has gold rings. I've not, I can put the rings back in um, if I want as well, which is good. And all Julio's come with that lovely back pocket as well. So yeah, that was my first ever Gilio. Um, another one that I've got in a neutrally kind of colour is this um, gold. So this is um, an A6 Apunto. So these are, um, all the Apuntos are the ones that are for bound books. So you basically slide a notebook into it and it comes with kind of two bookmarks as well. Um, and this is the A6 size. So I use this for like my scrapbook. Oh, I just see, you can see when I went to Planacon and I met the kind of owners of Gilio. Yeah, so I put like scrapbook, um, photos, things like that in here. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is a gold. So you can see the difference between kind of the gold and the rest. This has got quite a nice patina on as well. Um, but each batch as well can be slightly different. Um, all of Gilio's leathers are like very um, naturally made. So I like vegetable tanned and I think, I might not be 100% correct, so don't quote me on this, but I think what they don't do is they don't, some of the brands like will shave the top of the leather off. So it makes it kind of all uniform and all their planners look the same. Gilio don't do that, they keep it very natural. So you see lots of like natural variations. There's like differences in textures, wrinkles, things like that with their planners, you can see. This one's been well loved. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I think they just get more and more beautiful. But this is kind of the size comparison between the A6 and the medium. And then I'll just show you the um, A6 pockets. So you have a pocket here, pocket here. There's lots of card slot pockets. Um, a little kind of secretarial zipper and a pocket to slide your notebook in. Um, some people slide it in the front, some people in the back, some people both. It's kind of personal preference. And the lovely big back pocket as well. So I have one more A6 Pinto, which I've kept, um, which is my aubergine. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, so this is a completely different type of leather. So these two um, are a pocker leather. It's like a pocker calf leather. That's what Julio called them. And this is their croco leather. So it's calf leather, but it's printed. Um, and this doesn't kind of patina in the same way. It can get a bit more shiny, but it won't kind of, yeah, patina in the same way as the Apoca. Um, this is just super pretty. And again, they're all different. So you might ha have like a big pattern on the clasp, a small one, like you, it depends kind of what you get. But when you order a Julio, you can write in the description, um, in the notes, like what you would like. So if you wanted like big, 
um, scales of the class or small ones, you could kind of specify that. And if they've got one like that left, they will do their best to kind of um, do that. So yeah, it's the same configuration, obviously, as the gold, because this is, again, an A6 Apunto. Um, so I was using this when I was uh, bullet journaling. Um, I used the gold, and then I went from the gold to the aubergine. I thought it was super pretty. So yeah, so so far we've had a medium Campania, which is personal size, so that's a ring planner. Obviously, I've not got rings in at the moment, but it is a ring planner. And then for the bound books, A6 of Untoes. So yeah. Okay, so I'll do this one next because they're the same colour. So this is also the aubergine. Um, and this is a B6 of Punto. So this is A6 and this is B6. Um, so as you can see, as I've said about how the patterns are different, um, you can see right there. So I got this one when I went to Planicon Europe, which was amazing. I wasn't going to get, um, I bought like a planner on the first day, which I don't have in my collection anymore. And I wasn't going to get this, but I just couldn't resist. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, the B6 up in toe. Um, you have a pocket here, pocket, pocket, zipper, secretarial, obviously all these card slots, and then the big back pocket as well. And as I said, with all the open toes, you get these um, bookmarks. So yeah, very nice leather. So these are my two ones that I've got in the Croco leather, and then obviously my other ones I've got in the Poca. Okay, so I'm going to move on now to my A5 Apunto. So this again is in the Apoca leather. This is in the aqua colour. So in terms of, the interesting thing about this is the patina is slightly different to these more neutral colours. So some of the lighter colours or colours such as this, I have, think have a bit more of a protectant on them. So they still patina, they still get more shiny, but they don't get as, um, kind of you can see lots of different like colour spots and things as this patina is. It doesn't, that doesn't happen as much on the aqua. So you can see mine started to get a little patina where I've been pressing the popper a lot and the corners have darkened. But other than that, it stayed pretty much as I got it. Um, and I used this kind of daily for about, for quite a few months. Um, so yeah, this is an A5. I've just got a Leuchtsturm in here. Um, so you get, you've got all your card slots. Again, it's a similar configuration, pocket, 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 secretarials, um, straight on these, but it's slanted on the A5. Um, and again, here you can see slants on the pockets, which I quite like. Um, zipper, obviously we'll have a pen loop, big back pocket. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, you can see the difference in the pockets and then I'll just, I'll show you the size to kind of compare. Um, so that's kind of, make sure I've got it straight, the B6 um, in comparison to the A5. So you've got a little bit here and a bit more at the top. Um, so it's not hugely, hugely different, um, but yeah. Okay, so I'll move on now to my most, my current ones that I'm using now. So this is my most recent edition. So again, this is a B6 Apunto. So it's the same size as my aubergine, whereas this is in the croco leather, this is in the ostrich. So this is a real ostrich leather um, and it's in the ostrich X which basically means that it doesn't have kind of full quills all over it. They all have different patterns. So you can see my quills come up here. I've got an extra little quill there, which I think is so cute. And more quills on the back. Um, so yeah, that's the Ostrich X. Um, so this leather, it's really, really hard to describe, but you can see kind of how textured it is. It's absolutely stunning. Um, in terms of patina, they tend to darken slightly but they don't tend to patina too much. Um, they just kind of tend to get a bit darker, a bit shinier. Um, whereas obviously this is a whole different thing. You can see that really dark patch where the popper was. 
that wouldn't necessarily happen um, on the ostrich. So this leather is a lot lighter um, and so it's kind of good for me because sometimes I get bad shoulders, which is why I really like this. So it's a lot lighter um, and it's a lot more durable. So it doesn't tend to get scratched as easy or anything like that. However, with the pocket leather, if you scratch it, so made kind of a scratch there, as you can see, and then you can just rub, 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 and it's gone. <laughs> so that's amazing, the amazing thing about Gilios. Um, so yeah, but yeah, this doesn't tend to get kind of as scratched. So I'm gonna go through this um, setup. I'm gonna do another video of my August setup. So um, I'm not gonna go through the setup of this, but the it's a B6 again, so it's the same pocket configuration as the Croco. Um, you can see in the back, we've got the back pocket at the back as well. Again, you can see the quills are just all different. I've got the one there, some little tiny flat ones up there. So yeah, absolutely love it. And the good thing with Julia as well is you can request pictures before, so you can check that you like your order. So particularly with the Ostrich X, obviously because the quill pattern's all really different, it's good to get pictures so you know that you're definitely gonna be happy with the pattern that you've got. Um, so that's really important. So yeah, again, this is a B6 Punto, so it's got a, for a bound book. So you might have noticed that most of the things I've shown are that I've kept are a Punto. So I've got one, two, three, four, five puntos and then so far I've just shown my one ring planner which is my first ever Gilio. So I'll show you now the other thing that I'm in at the moment um, which is actually a ring planner. So this is my pocket um, ring planner so this is again an ostrich. This is the colour Oryx and it's again it's an ostrich X so as you can see the quill pattern is just on some of the leather. So yeah, absolutely love this. So these are the two planners that I'm using at the moment. And as I said, I'm doing, gonna do a, a setup video. So I'll talk about my setup a bit more in that. Um, but yeah, so we've talked a bit about the differences in the leather, um, but obviously I've not shown you a si this size before. I did actually have a um, Pocket XL in undyed, um, but I sold it. And that's the only Julia I've actually really regretted selling. <clears throat> I always think that if, um, unless I feel like quite attached to them, if I'm not using them, I don't want them to just sit on a shelf because I feel like it's a waste. Um, and often if I want to buy a new Julia, as I said, I'll sell one of my old ones to kind of fund it. So um, I do tend to, to kind of sell a few, but yeah, that is the only one I've regretted selling because then I went back into pocket size and um, I didn't have that to be able to use. But actually... If I hadn't sold it, I wouldn't have got this. And this is just incredible. Like the color, everything about it. As I was talking about natural variations, you can see there's like a, a scar. I just love it. Cause that's obviously something has happened to the leather, whether the ostrich has gone through like some barbed wire or caught itself on something. And it just tells a story, um, which I think is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> Sorry. So yeah. You can see again um, all the different quill patterns. The ring planners, I forgot to say, because I've taken the flyleaf out of this because I took the rings out, but they will come with a flyleaf, which is just basically a bit of leather that goes over the top. And that's great because you can like put post-it notes on it if you want, or just have it, I've kept mine blank because I just think it's so pretty. Um, but it means that you can keep what's in there private. So if you open your, if you had your planner open, people can't necessarily see the like front page. Oh, I'm really sorry, the dishwasher's on. So that's um, a loud noise from the water just draining away. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this is a Pocket XL. So Julio do Pocket and Pocket XL. So Pocket is um, 16 millimeter rings and Pocket XL is 20. So obviously it makes quite a bit of difference. Um, as you can see, my rings are pretty full, so I definitely need the XL. Um, you can also pick whether you want gold or silver rings when you buy a Gilio, which I think is lovely. So it feels like you kind of customise it a bit to you, um, along with it kind of being really um, unique anyway. So, you know, it's a planner like no one else is going to have exactly the same planner as you, which I, which I absolutely love. Um, so the pocket configuration, you have a pocket here, 
um, three card slots, secretarial, another secretarial, a zipper, and a big back pocket. Um, so yeah, it's just, I absolutely love it. Again, like it's that, that ostrich leather. I've had this one for slightly longer, so you can kind of see how it's gone a little bit shiny, but it's not really changed color, but you can kind of see the shine. And I think that's more what happens with the ostrich. Um, I'll just compare the sizes. So this is with the A6 Apunto. So it's quite a similar width, um, but there's obviously a bit extra on the top of the A6. Um, and then against my B6, Diddy. <laughs> so that's the difference with the B6. Um, medium. As you can see. And the A5. So yeah. So with the um, D-ringed medium as well, what the bound book you fit in here is actually the B6 Apunto, um, which is obviously in this book. So that's, the, that's what you can fit in a D-ringed um, companion. Obviously it goes right to the edge because um, as you can see, this is slightly thinner, slightly shorter. Um, so it's a tight squeeze, but it does definitely fit in. A lot of people do actually use their um, medium companions for this, which is good if you, you know, if you were using a ring planner and you wanted to switch to a van book and you don't want to buy a new cover, um, it's good to have that option because you can either buy new rings and put them in again. Um, as long as you don't take the back plate out, you've still got the warranty. So yeah, you can do that, which is, which is handy to know. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've covered everything, hopefully. Um, just let me know if there's anything, like any questions or anything um, about like anything I've said, more than happy to answer them. I'll put my Instagram below as well, so feel free to send me a message on there um, if there's anything you want to know. Um, I'll just quickly run through them. So I've I talked about my, I've got my A5, a Punto in Aqua. I've got my B6, a Punto in the um, Aubergine Croco. I've got my B6, a Punto in the Ostrich X Leather in the Grigio colour. Then I've got my Medium Campania in the Apoca Leather, and that's in the Rust. I've then got my A6 Apunto in the aubergine, again that's the croco leather. Then my A6 Apunto in gold, that's the apoca. And then last but not least, my Pocket XL in the Ostrich X in Oryx. So yeah, that's my little collection. Um, yeah, I, I really love them all, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed that and as I said if you've got any questions um, just let me know and thanks a lot for watching.